So here is a picture of the city of Portland. My husband took this right outside our balcony and it was like about what seven or eight o'clock at night? No, more like five. Oh, five o'clock at night? Oh. <laughs> um, anyway, today is part two of yesterday's video that cut out on me. I don't like that. So I said, I gotta make a part two. So what I had was saying was um, the other day I had told my husband to get me my vitamins. I needed my vitamin Caltrate and also the Centrum for Women. Because that's what I, I, I was taking the regular Centrum, but I said, well, I'm a woman. So he said they have a, a, a Centrum for Women. I said, okay, get that. So what he came back home with, I said, you know, if you don't have enough money for both, because I know they're kind of expensive, just get the Caltrate. I need that right now. So he came, he got back home and he had both vitamins. And I said, oh, good. And I looked, I, I said, the Centrum vitamin is usually bigger. And I looked down at it and I said, I said, wait a minute. I said, this isn't the Centrum for women. It's for this, the 50 plus women and men or whatever. But I said, I said, I'm not even 50 years old yet. I still have six more days. This is like about Monday or something like that. And, or Tuesday. Anyway. And I said, gee, thanks, Al. That's like a slap in the face. He says, well, it's fun to be realistic. Since you are turning 50, I thought I'd get you started. It's like, yeah, whatever. So anyway, that was a funny story. I thought that was, he got me. Husband, you gotta love him. Or shoot him. But anyway, um, so today I am not going to do my mile. I figure I need to take a little break. But I did, um, I did my, before I came on here, I did uh, 60 wall push ups. And then in about an hour from now, I'm going to do my um, weights, two pound weights that I have for my arms. And I need to get those exercised. So I figured as long as I'm doing something, that would be six days that I exercise. And that would be six and a half miles that I did with my um, exercise um, CD. And so I said, well, I'll work it. Hopefully next, or this week, I will do um, six days for the um, walking mile. And then um, take a day break. So we'll, we'll try to, we'll get up there. Uh, to shoot, you know, for every day, we'll do it. We'll do it once at least. But um, so, yeah. So today's just kind of it's a very cloudy, kind of foggyish day out there, and it's wet. But it's supposed to be up to what 40 degrees? You said, Al? 46. 46, and then in a couple days more, it's going to be like 50 or something like that. So. I'm going to hopefully try to get out there Tuesday. It's supposed to be sunny and I think in the 40s and I'm going to try to get out there and walk because I want to try my new walker out. I only tried it when I went to the doctor the other day and I want to try it out on one of my walks. And so keep your fingers crossed. I'm hoping to get outside for a walk. It's been such a long time. And uh, I get antsy, you know, when I'm stuck indoors a lot. Um, I think that's why sometimes I get cranky and I don't know, but I have my tea. This will be like my second cup of the day. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's going okay. Um, you know, I feel good about that. I'm not, I, you know, sometimes I feel like, oh, should I do that mile? And it's like, I don't have to do it all the time when I exercise and, um, it's like I feel like I have to do it when I exercise, but there are other things I could do, you know, such as my push-ups. And um, I've done my push-ups for four days in a row, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I feel really good about that. And now, let me ask a question to you folks. I know push-ups is really good for your upper part, such as your chest, your boobs, and your arms, um, is that all they're good for? Is that all they're, you know, because will I start losing more inches on my chest? Um, because I, I have lost six inches off my chest and I need to lose about three or four or even five more inches so I, I would be at a size 50D 
to get a new bra. And before I was at 60D, um, but it's kind of hard to find bras in that size. And I had four of them, but they're getting so old right now. So I'm working my way to try to um, get down to, in you know, 45D or uh, 50D. Um, because it takes time to lose inches when you really want something that's bad. And I really need a bra because, like my aunt says, your boobs are going all the way down to your tummy. And I said, no, they're just halfway there. And they're not going all the way down to my tummy. So she's exaggerating. But anyway, I have some news I want to share too. Um, speaking of family. Um, I was on Facebook yesterday. And I was on my, my cousin's husband's profile. And I had read on there that my cousin was in the hospital, had been in the hospital. I said, what? I didn't know Julie was in the hospital. No one tells me anything. My sister knew about it because she posted something on his wall. Um, I don't know if my mom knew because she didn't say anything. But it's like, here it is already, January 13th. And she was in the hospital um, December 21st and it's like I didn't even know what she was in the hospital for but she had a surgery and it kind of just irks me because I'm always the last to find out and I was going to call my cousin Stephanie in Oregon because she would know she talks to Julie and them she would know what was wrong with her and but I said I'm not going to call um, because I wouldn't say she calls me for my birthday and if she doesn't call me for my birthday then I'll call after but it's just really you know that's something serious that I like I said I don't know what she was in the hospital for I would like to find out I, I had tried calling Julie a couple months ago but she never called me back and I said you know what I'm I because I called her twice and I said twice is good <coughs> excuse me I don't need to keep calling and calling And making a pest to myself back then so I stopped calling her but you know I would like to see what's wrong with her because I would like to send her a get well card or you know um, something but my family's too much if my sister knew about it she could have told me I'm sure my cousin Stephanie knew, knows about it. I talked to her two or three times since Christmas and stuff she could have told me and I mean, to me, that's important, you know. I, I need to know what's up, and I guess they don't think that's important enough to tell me. <coughs> so, I don't know. Does anyone else's family do this? They keep things from you, and um, they don't want to worry you, and they don't want to upset you because, you know, you're all the way, you know, in a different state. Well, my cousin Stephanie's in Oregon. She's in a different state from Denver. So she knows. So it's like, I just don't understand why they keep it from me. Am I not important enough to <coughs> tell something like that? And I think that's very important. So I had to find out through Facebook that she had been in the hospital. And I think that just sucks. So anyway, I'm kind of mad about that. But I'm not going to blow steam and go on an eating binge or nothing like that. I'm just mad and frustrated that they can't tell me that one of my relatives is sick. But anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this short today because you guys got two videos from me and I don't know when I'm going to be making another one. Um, he's starting back to work tonight and so when he's back to work it kind of gets hard for me. I could try to make one on his days off but Thursday is going to be kind of busy so maybe I'll make one fr this Friday. We'll see. We're not promising a rose garden, but we're going to try our best to get another one, another update, and hopefully, hopefully I'll lose some weight, but I'm going to be having ice cream and cake, so for my birthday, so that's probably for two days, because, you know, cake lasts, so um, I'm not going to go on an eating bench for two days, to have, you know, having my chips. I might have it for one day, but I'm going to try not to, but um, because an eating bench is bad, very bad for you. And even though sometimes I can get right back on it after the two days or sometimes I take a week. And you know, I don't like that when I go on it for a week or two. Um, for one, it's like, oh no, I'm afraid to uh, weigh myself on the scale because I know I'm going to have picked up some weight. Excuse me, I burped and co almost coughed at the same time. Um, 
so I, I, I kind of fret about it because it's like, I don't want to see what the numbers say. I don't want it to be another, you know, 10 to 12 pounds that I gain. That's the hardest part about a binge, but, um, you know, you just got to, got to, you got to weigh yourself because you got to know where you started from and, um, you know, where you end up. So, anyway, um, I'm going to do good today. I'm going to have more chicken tonight. We had chicken last night. I'm going to have chicken tonight. And I'm going to have, I don't know what kind of veggies yet with them, but I wish we could have a green bean casserole because I love having that uh, with my chicken or hamburger. Um, and it's very filling. So y'all folks have a great day. I just wanted to make this a part two because it, it cut off on me yesterday. And right in the middle of my telling my story. And don't you just hate that? <laughs> Anyway, you folks have a great day. I hope where you are, it's sunny and not so hot and just right so you can go out there and exercise because we all got to do that if we want to lose weight, right? Right. So, hugs to y'all and wish me a happy birthday if you think about it. Talk to you later. Bye.